Cancer, welcome back to the channel with me, Tony. I have a message here for you through the tarot, through the cardamancy, from the collective divine. Uh oh. We have the Light Seers tarot deck today. Pull in some messages for you, see what the universe has to say. If you happen to find value in this reading, tap in. Tap that like, tap that subscribe. Let Allow the message to spread. We got butterflies here for you today, Cancer. Nice, good weather. Let's get to the message. Messages for Cancer today. What are the messages for Cancer Spirit? Jumpers. Okay. More messages for Cancer today, Spirit. What is the message for Cancer? All right. So grounding the reading for you today, Cancer. We have we have the Six of Cups. Hmm. Could be a message of love, uh, spiritual flirtation. Could be learning yourself. Mm, this could be coming into union with yourself so this could be memories as well you're thinking back on your childhood or you could be again planning um, planning to make some sort of move some type of romantic move so you're thinking about about the future you're thinking about the families could even be some form of a uh, a I was gonna say dog whisperer but this could be some type of shaman here definitely getting the shamanism we had the jumper was the divine masculine you know, there's a lot that could be said about the divine masculine. I have a few butterflies floating right in front of me right now. So someone's blossoming at this time. We have a child that blossoms from childhood into adulthood. So the emperor here, an initiative uh, or initiate, a self-starter, a look that as some type of boss, CEO, or a leader here. Uh, okay, interesting message. So that's what I was channeling here, <laughs> the Six of Cups. We have this big muscle-bound muscular dude who's walking a white poodle in the park. <laughs> oh man, the tarot's so funny, I swear. <laughs> like this is literally him. <laughs> and he's walking this tiny little white poodle. <laughs> Look, it's a white chess piece. <laughs> All right, uh, what else are we getting? Wow, even more of a message here. We have strength card. Again, it's some big muscle. I would turn the camera on him, but he's probably going to walk right by me. Like, he's getting closer and closer to me. A big, big muscle-bound dude is wanting to know what this guy's doing sitting Indian style uh, in the grass. <laughs> you know, walk your dog right on the basketball court where people bounce their balls all the time. Don't let your dog take a shit, sir. But, um, yeah, we have, we even have the lamb down here, a white lamb looking just like the white dog. But we have strength coming in here. This is uh, ancestral energy here. This is ancestral protection as well here when we talk about strength. Um, blessings on blessings here. Could even be um, learning um, how to make boss moves is what I'm getting here. So someone could be opening up a business, could be dealing with an entrepreneur. This could already be in development. Okay, so I'm getting self-development as well. Okay, some type of hidden potential that you've always had in you since you were a child. People have been able to see it in you all the while here. Now we have a white guy uh, with his cargo hat on. Um, he's taking pictures of uh, trees randomly in a park. I've never seen this before. They are bearing some sort of red fruit here. Mm, interesting, man. I could go on and on about it, but I'm not really going to say anything. Uh, hmm. Yeah, the tarot's showing me a lot right now. We have distractions here. Yeah, his back is turned to me. He's up in the tree. This is minor distractions here. This could even be uh, spring, uh, multiple ideas being uh, sprung forth here. Now, the thing about juggling too much when you have so many ideas, and this is the thing with being um, with being gifted. When you have so many gifts, it's hard to concentrate on one particular gift. Yeah. The same thing could be said about problems and frustrations and things like that. There are so many problems where uh, to begin to uh, resolve them. Queen of Cups, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So this is also uh, some form of an empath or an intuitive. Could be some form of a nature lover as well, strength card. Okay, so someone could be uh, developing some type of business in regards to nature or philanthropy. They're taking on the burdens or the thoughts of everyone else around them. Could be a church or something like that. Could be dealing with baptism. Yeah. I would expand on it, but of course, I never know when my phone battery is going to get low. 
Yeah, we're dealing with people with mental health issues. Could be uh, minor distractions. We go from uh, ten of swords to the five of swords. Blood, sweat, and tears are down here as well. Yeah, someone's uh, they're needing a mental release here. Yeah, they're needing to uh, elevate here. They're so bogged down by societal norms that they can't elevate. We have to remember that we're spiritual beings here. So again, being overweight, two, three, four hundred pounds for no particular reason, <laughs> when you're actually a soul, when you're actually a spirit, when you actually want to move up in life, whether that's moving up an elevator in a building to get a higher perspective, or you want people from a higher perspective to uh, look at you. But how? why would someone want to look at someone that's either overweight physically or spiritually? Like, make yourself attractive. Make yourself appealing here. Someone's needing some type of an, an exorcism here. Yeah, judgment here. Judgment is being cast down on you. It's coming right underneath the emperor. Making a judgment call. Starting some sort, sort of business. Or, um... Now, someone could be overwhelmed here. Not everyone is meant to be an entrepreneur. Not everyone is meant to be a business owner or a CEO. CEO, uh, CEO. We actually need people to work these minor jobs as well. We need secretaries and that sort of thing. This is a secretary dealing with the whims of her boss. Every little side project, every little thing she has to note down, things that he would typically have to think about, he casts down to her or he delegates to her. She's needing some form of a mental release, some form of vacation, a resting period. This could be time off. This could be an extended lunch break. Could even be uh, some form of a... Um, okay, so if I'm getting therapy here, that would be physically, mentally, spiritually. That would be... Um, I'm Okay, I can't get it. It's like some type of off day to go off and... Um, get like massages or something like that this could also be a beach day someone could be attending beach i'm actually supposed to be going to the beach uh this weekend yeah look at that three of wands amazing how the tarot speaks right so the, it's literally standing in front of a beach with a surfboard waiting on the ships to come in or waiting on that high tide so that they could take that leap forward take that adventure get in the water threes are about passions inspirations sex that sort of thing the sacral chakra Wanting to go on an adventure or create an adventure for yourself with it being a three of wands. Yeah, you have the strength to do so as well. Yeah, more water here. Six of swords coming right under the ten of swords. Getting away from all these negative thoughts. Getting that mental release here. Having a moment of victory. Mental release. And then we also have three of cups, so more threes, man. Three threes taking the, okay, so this is self-love. This could be self-indulgence. This could be partying. Yeah, getting a chance to, okay, work hard, play hard. So you're getting a chance to have fun in uh, between time. So what is it, the weekend? Okay. Or whenever your days are off or whenever you come across this reading here. Three of cups right under the queen of cups. Yeah, some, some sort of a relaxing celebration or something like that. Could be, um, this could be a wedding. Also, what I'm channeling, a wedding on the beach, which is always something that I want to do. Now, don't get me wrong. I despise when people take advantage of um, marriage. I'm a Libra. That's what I'm about. Partnerships, business, that sort of thing. I am the marriage sign, but I'm not stupid. In 2022, I know women initiate 80% of divorces. So as a man, first of all, I'm not going to get married until I can offer you abundance. But when we get into a relationship or connection, I'm not going to let you steal my abundance by divorcing me. But this is someone getting married on the beach. That's one of my dreams, one of my goals, one of my fantasies. I'll always have something to work towards. It's also drinking as well. Yeah. Pour me another drink. Could be a bartender. Judgment. Could be someone dealing with drinking issues here. But it looks like someone's just having a good time. I think all of the people in this situation are overdoing it here. Ten of swords. <laughs> okay. Uh, last message here for cancer. The lovers. Oh, yep. That's what I said, right? A marriage. Yeah. Uh, coming right under the five of swords. This could be... Um, what do women have... Um, I'm not going to say women. Everyone has a fear. It's some sort of a bachelor party or a bachelorette party or something like that. But yeah, we have your soulmate coming in here. Again, a love connection. You could be coming across um, the person that you're going to be spending the rest of your life with. 
or this is just a big party and everyone's having fun. They're communicating with each other. They're enjoying each other's presence. Again, the lover's card could be meeting the love of your life. Again, relationships or marriage. Major Arcana's judgment. Oh yeah, look, grounding your reading, six of cups. So yeah, you're meeting your, your okay, so we have love coming in here. We have grounding you, six of cups. Three of cups, celebration, togetherness. <laughs> Uh, a consecration here Queen of Cups and lovers could be dealing with a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio could be dealing with an air sign we have major arcana Leo is uh, here as well we have the Emperor two fire signs this could be again an adventure uh, leaving behind what you're normally used to or the typical marriage to go on some type of this could be a, a marriage abroad or something like that trying to do something atypical 33 we have 33 and 66 yeah traveling towards love where love is traveling towards you with the three of wands and the three of cups and then we're getting six of swords and six of cups again more traveling looking towards the future looking towards family realizing that you've come a long way you actually deserve this and there's gonna be um, more and more journeys people have to realize that once you get married once you get the ring that's not the end of the journey you have to spend your whole life together. So that's actually the beginning of the marriage journey. That's the beginning of life at that point. You found some of the things that are the most important to you. Your finances, your love, because you shouldn't be getting married unless you have the finances. What's the number one reason that women get divorces? It's either to take money away from a man or because he's broke, in which they shouldn't have got married in the first place. So women have to think about these things when they're pressuring men into marriage. Does he even have this, does he, is he able to support you? But that's what I have for you today, Cancer. Yeah, Cancer, home life, uh, homebody, nurturing energy. Uh, if you found value in the reading, like, share, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.